have the same interests. The only thing that's different is that I'm blind and I'm doing things and I've been blind longer so I figured it out. And he gave me a valuable piece of advice. He said, do not listen to the sighted world any longer. Do not listen to them say you can't, you shouldn't, don't try this. Take words from Steve Jobs, go out, be foolish. So I took away from that hope. He was the first blind guy I ever met other than me, so I knew things could be done. I just didn't have a vehicle. So another friend of mine recommended I try hiking. Seemed a little tame, given my background. I'd done it before, did the day hikes, really didn't understand what the thrill was. But for me, it was something. I could take ownership of my life again, which is very important to a blind person. I could go out on my own, take control, go where I wanted to go. Nobody would teach me. My o &M instructor once again told me, not a good idea. But I didn't listen. I did it anyway. And then, for some reason or another that I still can't tell you to this day, I was in the outdoor store buying some trekking poles because I got sick of breaking my cane while I was on the trail. So I got trekking poles and the guy behind the counter wouldn't shut up about this adventure he'd been on. He told me about bear encounters. He told me about almost freezing to death. He told me about thunderstorms. All this got my attention. I said, wow, that sounds kind of fun. And I said, what was it that you did? He said, I threw hiked the Appalachian Trail. Naively, I knew what it was, but I said, exactly what did you do? He said, I went to Georgia, and then I hiked, and six months later, I ended up in Maine. And I said, great. Before I left the store, I decided that's what I was gonna do. If I could just figure out a way to do that, do it like everybody else, get to the other end, then I would have control of my life again. As a blind person, I would be able to do anything I set my life to, and set my mind to. Worse some problems, however. They don't make anything for blind people to do what I wanted to do. It's kind of hard to go 2,000 miles without a map. They don't make them. They didn't have a guidebook that was accessible. We didn't have smartphones when I did it, so there was no there was no Googling or no, no GPS that you could use. So I had to get creative. I had to get creative with the type of tent that I had because they didn't make those for blind people. But the thing was that I went out and I did it. I hiked for six months through snow, through heat, and through rain for 2,200 miles, and I finally made it. Maybe one thing I learned when I made it to Maine was that I achieved my goal, but I didn't achieve what I set out to do. I made it to the end of that trail, and I knew that I would have to hike further. I had achieved my independence, but what I really wanted to do was be normal again. I wanted to be able to not only prove that I could hike to the end of the trail, but I wanted to be able to go solo if I wanted to, and I wanted to navigate it myself. <laughs> so the only logical thing for me to do was to keep walking, which I did a lot of. Over the subsequent three years, I hiked more than 14,000 miles. I did Mexico to Canada next on the PCT, one of the toughest challenges you can do. Then I decided might as well do Tahoe because that was even more challenging. I did the Smokies eight times. I did Grayson Island six. I climbed the tallest mountain on the East Coast. I went and decided if I did the tallest one on the East Coast, might as well climb the tallest one on the West Coast and in the contiguous United States. I did it with partners. I established a team to do it. I could do the well-traveled trails alone but I still couldn't do the challenging trails, the ones that nobody went on by myself. So technology finally started to catch up. I got my first smartphone, and thank goodness Steve Jobs. He opened up an entire world for the blind. So I got my iPhone, it would talk. I could have people email me my directions. That was a pretty good idea. And then I figured, well, before I jump off the deep end, 